Hi. Today you will find out why chipmunks commit suicide. Chipmunks are amazing creatures whose life is filled with energy and an eternal search for food. There is a widespread belief that sometimes, in critical situations, chipmunks are ready to commit suicide. The opinion is supplemented by the stories of eyewitnesses who saw the immobilized body of animals on the branches of trees. How are things really and is it true? This representative of the fauna lives in cedar deciduous forests. Our continent is inhabited exclusively by the Siberian chipmunk, which is also called Asian. The animal is wild, has tenacious legs, as well as soft beautiful hair. In length, the animal does not exceed 17 centimeters. The chipmunks are very thoughtful. In their huts there are two rooms, one designed as a bedroom and the other as a storage room. Since August, the chipmunk has been preparing its reserves for the winter and dragging all food that comes into its hands into the pantry. Chipmunks are very voracious creatures, and food is their main love. There are hunger periods in the life of a chipmunk, which he goes through very hard. Cannibalism is widespread among chipmunks, so these animals are by no means 100% cute and harmless. Since they hunt like this, there is an opinion that chipmunks, when they do not store enough for the winter, prefer to settle scores with their lives, but this is a lie and a provocation. In fact, chipmunks are very mobile creatures that can easily get entangled in the branches of a tree and die, or they can dine on their relatives and leave their dead body half-eaten. Without seeing this, people think that animals die consciously, which is initially incorrect. The chipmunk has a very strong self-preservation instinct, which simply will not give him the opportunity to commit suicide, unless, of course, his death turns out to be just an accident which does not depend on the animal at all. If the information was useful to you, you can like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.